Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The goal of this video is to learn how to create Express Server in Node.js in easy and simple steps. So here are the development steps. So the first step is to initialize the npm. Second step is to install the Express library. Third step is to create the JavaScript file. Fourth step is to load the Express library. Fifth step is to create the Express server. Sixth step is to create the default route. And the last and final step is to start the Express server. Let's look at these development steps one by one in detail. So the first step is to initialize the npm library. On the root of the directory, we will execute the command npm init minus y. This will generate the package.json file. And the minus y flag indicates that we will generate the package.json file with all the default values. The next step is to install the express library. On the root of the directory, we will execute the command npm install express. This will install the express library and it will register in the package.json file inside the dependencies section. Next, we are going to create the JavaScript file. On the root of the directory, we will create the JavaScript file with the name index.js. You can give any name to the file. The name doesn't matter here. The next step is to load the express library. Inside the index.js file, we are going to load the express library using the require method. And we're going to reference it to the library express. Next, we are going to create the express server. The express library provides a single method, which is express itself. And this method is used to create the express server. And we're going to reference it to the variable app. Next, we're going to create the default route. We're going to call the get method. And this get method takes two parameters. The first parameter is the route, the route name. And the second, pa second parameter is nothing but the handler method or the callback function and this callback function takes two parameters the request and the response and we are going to make use of the uh, response variable to send the data back to the browser we can pass the html content or we can pass the text as well and the last and final step is to start the express server we are going to call the listen method on the express server and this will take two parameters the first parameter is the port we can give any number we want and the second parameter is the callback function and inside this we're going to just lock to the console that our app is running on the port 3000 all right these are the development steps for creating the express server in node.js let's jump to the visual studio code and let's create the express server in node.js okay i'm inside the visual studio code I have created the folder web servers and have opened it inside the Visual Studio code. So the first step is to initialize the npm. Let's open the command prompt. npm init, we are going to add the minus y flag. This is going to generate the package.json file with all the default values. We can edit this file if you want or we can leave as it is. The next step is to install the express library. npm install the library name, which is express. Hit enter. This is going to download the express library and it also registers inside the package.json file. So if we open the package.json file inside the dependencies section, the express library will be registered. The next step is to create the index.js file at the root of the folder. At the top, we are going to load the express library using the require method. The library name express. We're going to store that in a variable const express this express library provides a single method which is express itself 
we're going to call the express method to create the express server and we're going to store that in a variable const app next we're going to create a default route app dot get this is going to take two parameters the first parameter is the the route which is the default route which is slash the second parameter is the callback function this is going to take two parameters the request and response inside this we are going to make use of the response to send the data back to the browser response dot we are going to call the send method and to this send method we are going to provide the html content we can also provide the text we are going to make use of the h1 element and we are going to provide the text hello express and the next step is to start the express server app dot we are going to call the listen method this lesson method takes two parameters the first parameter is the port you can give any number you want the second parameter is the callback function inside this we are just going to lock to a console app is running on the port 3000 let's save this next let's run this index.js file using node node index.js this is going to start the express server on port localhost 3000 let's navigate to the browser localhost colon 3000 hit enter you can see hello express this is because we have provided the default route all right that's all about this video we have learned how to create the express server in simple easy steps i will see you in the next video